I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist. Our topic, easing the symptoms of arthritis. Doctors often prescribe pharmaceutical drugs to ease the symptoms of arthritis. However, with long-term use, these drugs can have dangerous side effects. Let's look in the medical literature at published studies and see what non-prescription alternatives have been proven to help. These studies will cover both osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. There are numerous studies concluding that probiotics help alleviate arthritic symptoms. Probiotics are the friendly bacteria that live in our intestines and make up our microbiome. They can be taken orally as a nutritional supplement. Several studies on a particular probiotic strain called Lactobacillus casei have shown to bring improvement to arthritis sufferers. One study concluded that supplementing L casei reduces pain, inflammatory responses, and articular cartilage degradation. Another study concluded that probiotic supplementation may be an appropriate adjunct therapy for rheumatoid arthritis patients to help alleviate symptoms and improve inflammatory cytokines. In 2010, a study on a probiotic strain called Bacillus coagulans GBI30-6086 was published. When this strain was given to arthritis patients, they experienced borderline statistically significant improvement in the patient pain assessment score and statistically significantly higher improvement in pain scale than the placebo group. A randomized, double-blind, crossover study was done to determine the efficacy of using tart cherry juice to treat osteoarthritis of the knee. The conclusion was that tart cherry juice provided symptom relief for patients with mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis and that tart cherry juice lowered C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation. In the 1990s, an elderly woman told me her secret to dealing with her arthritic symptoms. She cut fresh ginger root into about six coin-sized slices and made a tea with it. She said that it really, really helped. There was a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled clinical trial conducted on 120 people with moderately painful knee osteoarthritis to determine the efficacy of ginger. The study concluded the ginger powder supplements at a dose of one gram per day can reduce inflammatory markers in people with knee osteoarthritis and it can be recommended as a suitable supplement. Bromelain is an enzyme rich substance extracted from pineapple. There was a review of numerous clinical trials some recent and one going as far back as 1964 where bromelain was used to treat osteoarthritis symptoms. These studies concluded that bromelain shows anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties and may provide a safer alternative or adjunctive treatment for osteoarthritis. Numerous studies have concluded that turmeric is effective for treating the symptoms of osteoarthritis. One study concluded that turmeric extract is as effective as ibuprofen for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis but with fewer gastrointestinal upsets. There was a study done in 1999 to determine if rheumatoid arthritis can be treated with a vegetarian diet. The conclusion was that some people with rheumatoid arthritis can benefit from a fasting period followed by a vegetarian diet. 
In one interesting study, a 63-year-old woman who had osteoarthritis of a finger had her symptoms completely go away after six months on a gluten-free diet. Numerous studies have been done to determine if a gluten-free vegan diet would help. One study that had 66 people with rheumatoid arthritis was conducted over a period of one year. The study concluded that a gluten-free vegan diet in people with rheumatoid arthritis induces changes that are potentially atheroprotective and anti-inflammatory. A study done in 2001 concluded that a vegan diet free of gluten improves the signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Another interesting study found that insufficient vitamin D intake is linked to increased susceptibility to the development of rheumatoid arthritis and is also associated with disease activity in people with rheumatoid arthritis. There are other dietary changes and supplements that can help. One example of a dietary change that can help is the avoidance of nightshade vegetables. Another is the avoidance of foods high in omega-6 fats while supplementing with omega-3 fats. Supplements that can help include MSM, glucosamine, and boswellia. And there are more. To sum it up, numerous clinical studies have been published in medical journals and are available for doctors to view. However, in 2016, my mother, who's 84 years old, went to an arthritis specialist and was diagnosed with osteoarthritis of the knees. The doctor told her that her only option was pharmaceutical drugs to kill the pain. My question is if these clinical studies appear in medical journals, why don't most doctors know about them? I encourage you to leave your comments in the comment section below this video.